Hello, welcome to my channel. Devin Rex for Art here. Today I am presenting the project I made for the um, hashtag Makers Creative Collab hosted by PM Artist Studio. And this month the theme is nearing needlework. So after my video, I will post the link to the next video. It's a video hop and you can click on that and there's several different um, creators involved and you'll have a great time sort of hopping through everybody's um, channels and seeing what everybody made. This is what I made. It's um, quite different for me. It's sort of a mixed media abstract collage. Um, and it was heavily influenced, I would say, by um, Robin McClendon and Lori Marie Jenkins. We'll link them below. And I don't do a lot of needlework. I don't do a lot of assemblage. Um, but I did find inspiration um, from the idea of sewing found objects, rusty bits and such onto uh, paper. So the color palette inspiration for this piece is actually from the Faux Rust uh, from Consortium Crafts, it's sort of a collection of uh, rusty papers. So that's what I based my color palette on. Um, the red, if you look carefully, there is a few spots where there's sort of a deep red. And I like that bright green and of course the teal. So that was my color inspiration. So the only actual found bit on here is this large washer here. I found that um, on a walk one day. Um, all the other pieces I actually rusted myself um, using vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and um, salt. And there's lots of different um, recipes you can find for that online. I've never done it before, so it was kind of an interesting process. Um, I took a couple days to rust. The other thing that inspired me was this uh, fabric. So this is a really stiff fabric I found at a secondhand shop. It seems to have some sort of sizing on it. I don't really know what it's for. Um, some people thought maybe it was for making plaster casts. I don't know, but it rips quite easily into, excuse the noise, into little squares. So that's what I used here as well as here. This was a test piece I had um, used different inks on and Posca and doodles. So I just ripped it in half and I placed half of it there. This um, text page was sent to me in happy mail from Tamari Bitgood and I just ripped it and used it in a couple places. And the needle uh, work was just done with simple needles. And um, this thread was um, gifted to me by Teresa Peterman. She did some hand dyed threads, they were quite beautiful. Um, so I used uh, the blue. And then the red is just uh, regular um, DMC floss from way back in the day when I did do a little bit of cross stitch, I had some pieces left over. So my sewing ability is quite limited. I have a machine. I don't really sew fabric other than in junk journals or in journaling and uh, I sew paper or tags, but I'm not very good at sewing. So this was a stretch for me to do this prompt nearing needlework. Um, I felt like the word nearing gave me a little bit of leeway. So it's like not true needlework, it's getting close to needlework, it's near needlework. And um, I'll just do a close up here. So I guess the focal point would be this piece here where I did an image transfer onto this fabric. And I will likely do a process video uh, for that um, in the next day or two, just a short video. It was quite simple. And then these are, um, they're like hanging, they're like for picture hanging. You just kind of like put them into the wall. And I thought they made a nice heart. The base, I should say, was a jelly print. Um, so this piece here, which um, measures approximately uh, 12, just over 12 and a half by 10 and a half. I did that on my big jelly plate and then I added a few pieces um, on top and I'm um, using all PM Artist Studio stencils on that. So um, these plus signs were 
uh, this one and then this pattern I used quite a bit to repeat and those were from the strips volume 2 tidbits large and then these circles were from the um, nested circles it's a set of 12 and these are the three that I used on this jelly print and lastly I used this one called the art of protein over here and uh, that is a very fun mask to use as well so getting back to the sewing portion so I sewed the um, metal pieces on using various threads so this washer here, I sort of substituted the iris. And then this looked like a needle, so I enjoyed sewing it on. And then I looped a piece of thread that can just hang freely. Here's a couple of French knots and some crosses. That's the extent of my uh, knowledge in cross stitching or needlework is straight stitches, X's and French knots. So. You can add sewing elements even with limited um, experience. So these were sewn directly onto the base print. These ones here. Uh, this one was sewn just onto this white piece of paper, which uh, I then fastened onto the main print using these X's and these French knots. And I quite liked how all the rusty bits turned out. Just a close-up for you. This fabric I just attached with some foam tape in a couple spots because I wanted it to be dimensional. One of my favorite parts of this is actually this uh, clip here, which I find with this jelly print below it looks kind of like a um, light bulb filament. So to me, that's my favorite part. So if you want to see, um, well, if you want to see other people's take on this prompt near needlework, uh, follow the link up above and that's going to be at the end screen. And to go to the next video in the hop, check out all the artists. Um, I'm sure it's, uh, they're all going to be wonderful and varied. If you want, you can participate. Um, we have YouTubers and non-YouTubers, so you can post your makes in uh, their Facebook group, which is Makers of Mixed Media. You just have to go um, and answer a few questions. Uh, PM Artist Studio will have a video in this hop and they will give you more information about that, I'm sure. So thanks for watching. Um, this is out of my comfort zone, a lot bigger than what I usually do, uh, more 3D than I usually do, uh, as I usually work in art journals, but this is more of a piece that perhaps I might get framed, put in the house, who knows. But I had lots of fun and that's why doing prompts is good for you because it really pushes you out of your comfort zone and maybe helps you find something um, within yourself that um, you weren't sure that you were capable of. So I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much and for all your support and have fun on the hop and have a great day.